Happy Monday, everybody. It's time to grind. It's time to get back to work. Uh, I'm super excited for today's video. I'm going to be going over why I was telling you all about email lists are king. What does that mean? Why is it important? And I know maybe some of you might think, really, email listing? Like, Tim, <laughs> this is 2022. Okay, we don't email list anymore. So I wanted to just come on here and just share my thoughts and opinions about um, email listing. And I would love to hear what you guys got to say about it as well. So please, anytime during this video or if you're watching this um, after I finish recording this, then please leave in the comments your thoughts on email listing. And if you have experience in it, how is it now in 2022? All right. So as you all know, um, the Oscars, <laughs> Woo, that was crazy. Oh, man. I mean, a lot. Of, I mean, you already know. If you haven't heard Will Smith smacked Chris Rock in the face because he had made a joke about Will Smith's wife, Jada, you know, with her hair and the whole, I, I believe she's going through an illness. That's why she had to continually to cut her hair, you know. But that's his own conversation. I, I, I ain't going to lie. I kind of want to. You know get your, your guys thoughts on it overall i feel that um will you know i don't know i honestly i always say that you know chime on that later in the group if i want or i might not i don't know but overall he defended his wife i get that but physically assaulting someone because of that that's a whole nother category uh but anyway so let's go ahead and get right into it so um the goal of this video is to really help you all maximize your profit, maximize maximize uh, more revenue for your business even after you finish shooting the wedding. So a lot of us, I don't know if you've been through this part, but after you shoot a wedding, typically we just let the client, client go. Honestly, that's what I used to do a lot. Um, and I haven't implemented the email list strategy, but basically at the end of the day, you don't want to just shoot the wedding and then that's it, you know. Um, you want to have continued business so that way you can always you know, not only keep that relationship with that client or couple, but you're growing your business even more so because now they already know who you are. They trust you. They will love to buy from you. So we're talking prints. We're talking mini sessions, all these different things. And we don't think about that. We just think, oh, we shoot the wedding. They go bye bye. Now we got to find new clients. So the goal is to keep the same clients coming back every time so this is why email list is important now is this the only way to do it of course not you can do text messages you can um, do let's say Instagram but email listing are still popular and it's still one of those things that a lot of photographers do not talk about so I'm going to give you that breakdown all right so I wrote a few notes here to uh, go over and let me know what you guys think all right so the first thing is what is an email list all right I'm gonna give you my definition just I'm not looking at no definitions I'm giving you from what I've learned and see what you all um, think about it so basically what an email list is it's super simple it's a list of emails from either your brides um, from either other people and you've been on other people's emails uh, listing before if you go in your Gmail account you'll see all these promotions from Best Buy from all these different uh, storefronts and corporations and that's pretty much what they do they still email you and for me I haven't really bought anything from that but it still keeps me it still pretty much let me know they're still there right so even if you don't buy anything you still see it and it reminds you okay oh that's right I gotta go back to Best Buy or oh let me go ahead and order this you know discount whatever the case so email listing is basically keeping your couples and your clients um, thinking about you when it comes to photography so let's say if you continually email them let's say once a week or once a day however it may be um, and their friend are getting married they're going to think about you why because you've been consistent and keeping yourself in front of them so when once an opportunity comes they will remember you first all right so again email list is simple it's a list of emails of your couples clients or someone else right boom now it's what we do with the emails that is where the game change 
and you're going to start seeing more revenue in your pocket versus someone who just shoots and then that's it, right? We don't want that. That's why the group is called Shoot Weddings and Make Profit, right? So now let's get into the first thing. So the goal of an email list is to monetize it after the wedding is over. All right, so I'm gonna give you a few ideas on how you can further maximize your um, your client than just on the wedding day, okay? So the first one is prints. So if you haven't uh, thought about selling prints or albums or canvases or anything in that realm, now will be a good time. And the reason why, and I understand a lot of people may say, well, Tim, I'd rather just give them the digital files. That's pretty much the new way of, you know, how pretty much the, the wave of people will be more okay and settled with this digital. Now, this is the problem with just digital files and no prints. So say if you're hosting your gallery on Pixie Set or you're sending your gallery through um, Google Drive or Dropbox, whatever service you might use, free or paid, what happens if something corrupts that cloud? All of those digital files are gone. So if Pixie Set decides to shut down, God forbid, all those images are gone. Same with Google, same with every any other online cloud service. And once their images are gone, and most likely you are gonna probably already, you know, formatted your cards, how are they gonna get their memories back? So encourage your couples to think about that because if they look at you and say, well, we don't want prints, that's old school. Tell them what I just said, and I guarantee you they're gonna have a shift of the way they look at it, and then they will consider it. So even if they don't buy, they will consider it, right? So that's one big thing is having print. So with Pixie Set, and I'm not sponsored by Pixie Set, by the way, but with Pixie Set, they have a built-in store to where when you show your couples the gallery of their images, they're able to buy prints in that store. And Pixie Set has partnered with other um, printing companies that will do the work for you. So once they go into their gallery and they hit, you know, let's say the little cart icon and they choose their prints, they get to crop it and then they get to order it. The fulfillment center, which is the print, you know, whoever you choose to actually do your prints, they will fulfill the order for you. So literally you, it's, it's just like auto, it's, it's honestly auto pay. So they buy the prints, they print it for you, they send it to their address. You don't do anything but just prompt them to buy via their online gallery on Pixie Set or any other platform that have that type of service. So that's one thing I would say. Another idea is mini sessions. So I know a lot of you know what mini sessions are. So basically what that is, is like, think of it like fall, you got the family fall sessions. Mini sessions are usually between like 30 minutes. I would say 20 to 30 minutes um, in that ballpark. Sometimes it goes an hour, but the goal is really kind of don't go over 30 minutes and you will pretty much make more money. But anyway, so mini sessions is a good one. So fall mini sessions, um, winter mini sessions, even think about Valentine's Day, um, any other type of, you know, holiday. I know some of you are in different parts of the world. So just look at your um, calendar and see what type of holidays do uh, families celebrate and then put that in a package as a mini session and then they will be able to see like you do other things besides weddings so just imagine after the wedding is over and you email that bra hey um since you've been uh, or you can say something like um hey christina so 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 happy that you know i got to shoot your wedding a couple months ago i just want to let you know i'm doing far mini sessions and in about two two months from now and wanted to let you know that you get uh, this being the bride or my client or couple, you get 10% off of this mini session. I would love to have you and your, um, let's say they have animals, your fur babies, or let's say they have, you know, a family. I would love to have your family uh, be a part of the shoot. Here's the link to book your, your date and all that good stuff, right? So as you can see, now they're like, oh, wow, like, you know, let's say me, like, oh, wow, Tim, like, thank you so much. I didn't know you do mini sessions. I would love to book with you. You're amazing. So that's the idea. It's like you already booked them. So how can you continue to build that relationship through other services that, that are non-wedding 
um, services, right? So that's that's the goal. All right. So the, another one is um, speaking of mini sessions, you can also do uh, door family sessions, maternity sessions, headshots. The list goes on and on and on. So you can get really creative with it. So maybe you want to get in to uh, headshots, but you never done it. And let's say you're a client or your couple just got married and one is trying to start a business and the other one is already in business, excuse me, then that's an opportunity where you say, hey, I would love to do you guys as headshots for X amount and you get this discount just for being, uh, just for you hiring me as your wedding photographer. So now you get, the, now I hope that start to get some ideas in your mind. So when you book your couple, always save their emails, maybe on a spreadsheet. And I'll talk about, you know, what programs I use, but save them somewhere on your computer. So that way, once you start running these type of um, different shoots, you can email them back, right? So let's keep that in mind. Also, you can run specials and discounts. So for example, if you are doing a maternity session, you can run a special on it. Like, hey, bride, let's say her name is Jessica. Hey, Jessica, I'm doing a maternity special. Um, you get in for this amount. Um, because you booked me as your photographer, you get this hookup. But if you refer other people to me, then you, I will also, you know, gift you something amazing, right? So now you got your couple already booked. Now they're telling their friends that are pregnant that are looking for a photographer. So now you can see this could be a, a bigger thing. You might get so busy to where now that's a second business that you work on. So it's just don't limit yourself just to weddings. That's pretty much what I want you all to understand because there's so much opportunities with just emails and you can do more than that like once you email them text them as well you know all that stuff right so just keep that in mind that you can go far beyond just weddings and know that they already know you and trust you and like you so they're not going to be scared to book with you like if you can shoot their wedding you can shoot anything else right so keep that in mind all right and then also too um you can email them saying something like hey i'm doing a mini session um i know that you both don't need mini sessions you already said that you're booked but if you will if you want to you can actually gift my service to someone else you know so now let's say their mom birthday is coming up or their friend birthday is coming up and they know that they would love to have a cool photo shoot then they can actually um buy your let's say the studio costs two hundred dollars for a birthday shoot or whatever the case may be right so they'll that that couple will still pay you 200 but then they will transfer you to the actual person they want to uh, present that gift to so you never know you might have couples that don't think that way and you just present it to them like hey thank you so much um i know you guys don't need this but just to let you know if you know anyone or you um you know that has a birthday or or you want to do a surprise gift this this will be an awesome gift to give to them. Now you're opening their mind up to see who's in their circle that will that they can actually present you to in terms of your service. So just keep that in mind. If they say no, encourage them that if they do, um, you know, want to make this like a super special thing for someone that they can actually buy your service and then give it give your service to someone else as a gift. That's pretty cool. All right, and then. Another one, and this is, and I wrote this in all caps, okay? Always email your raving brides. Always do that when it comes to specials and discounts. So what I mean by raving brides, when you shoot a certain amount of weddings, a handful of weddings, you're gonna, let's say out of five weddings, you have two brides that are just crazy about your, your images. They left you an awesome review. You can just tell that the energy was there and they just super excited to um to to pretty much like see what else you create for other couples because the experience you had um with each other was just that amazing so just sit down and see out of all the weddings that you shot let's say in the past year um who out of those weddings were like the top 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 brides that you would love to shoot more weddings like that right and what you're going to do is let's say it's 10 of them and so you shot 50, but 10 for sure is like off the Ricker scale, amazing. And you know they will push what you what you do because they just love your work. So what you would do is email them and say, hey, I'm having a wedding day special. I'm doing a special for 
um, all brides that uh, book with me within this month. So here's my special. And if you know anybody, please let them know I'm doing, let's say 50% off or 10% off of all of my wedding packages. So what's gonna happen is that your raving brides will then be like, hey, anybody, um, my photographer that shot my wedding is doing 10% off. Trust me, I didn't get this 10% off. So y'all need to go over there and check him or her out. She's amazing or he's amazing. That was my brand photographer, check them out. So what happens is that uh, what we don't see is that we do have brides that will literally help us market without any explanation. They don't, they don't, they don't need you to explain to them. You just tell them what you got going and that let them blast it around their whole friend circle, right? So think about that because that is free marketing. And then the referrals are amazing because if they come to you and say, Hey, such and such, I was referred by Jessica. She told me about your 10% or your special wedding discount. Can I get more information? You're, you're most likely going to book them. I would say at an extreme high rate versus a cold lead, meaning someone who never heard about you and they seen that promotion. Now they, they don't know they're skeptical. So if you can see the difference, I'd rather have my raving brides blast everything out opposed to me spending so much money on ads because with the raving brides, they're going to actually bring referrals that are more likely to book you than someone who doesn't know you. Okay. And if you just starting out, you probably think about Tim, I don't have those type of brides yet. That's totally fine. So this is, this is not yet your, you know, your area. So just keep shooting weddings. And then when you get to a certain amount, then start implementing that part. But it's not to say you have to wait until that happens in order to start doing the other things I mentioned earlier. So just keep that in mind. All right. So now for the programs. Okay. So I want to talk about email lists being manual, like you're plugging in everything yourself or email lists when it comes to things like, um, programs, you know, like automations and stuff like that. Uh, real quick, I want to read this comment Nadia said if my man don't stand up for me like that I don't want him well I mean I'll be honest with you Nadia I agree the tough part that I have conflict with is the assaulting part like you mean to tell me every time someone talks about my wife I'm gonna to have to physically assault each and every person that says something that that's the part that that I don't agree with and I feel like he could have just pulled him to the side and said, hey, you know, you shouldn't have did that. You know, what's the problem? And I'm, and I'm talking face to face, me and him. I wouldn't do that, you know, and slap him right there. You know what I mean? So hopefully that makes sense. I would still stand up for my wife verbally, but he didn't touch us. So why would I go up there and slap him? So that means every time somebody talks about my wife, I have to go and slap him. Like, just think about that. All right. So anyway, that's not what the video is about. So back on topic. Um, so... Real quick, if you're watching this in the future, like months and months and months and months down the road, obviously you already heard about the story about Will Smith and all that stuff. So yeah, I just want to clear that up. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So like I was saying, um, if you want to do this manually or you want to actually go with a program. So I know that um, for manual, I use Google Sheets. So um, Google Sheets, if you type it in Google Sheets, it's like a Excel spreadsheet i mean everybody should know what it is but some people don't it's like an excel sheet but it's better um it's on the cloud so that way you can access it on your phone your computer uh anywhere that has internet you can access your your file so what you do on this google sheet is that you plug in their name their email and you can do their wedding date which another thing as well like once their anniversary comes up you can actually shout them out on their anniversary stuff like that so um, that's the manual version that I do. I'm sorry. That's the manual version that I do. I use, uh, Google sheets to plug in all the numbers, emails, names, and all that stuff. And that's fine. But once you start getting more and more clients and your work is starting to pick up, that's when you will, will that's what, that, that's when you want to look into getting a program because that's going to save you a lot of time. And then also it will do a lot of the work for you. Okay. So one of the programs um, that I'm looking into, well, I'm, I'm gonna start with what I'm using and what I'm looking into. So right now I'm using HoneyBook and HoneyBook is a 
beautiful one-stop shop when it comes to your contracts, um, emails, storing files in terms of not pictures, but like, you know, contracts and stuff like that. It's an all around amazing thing. They have automations. It's an amazing uh, program, right? So I use HoneyBook and you can actually go in. Well, you know what? I take that back. I take that back. I take that back. I'm using HoneyBook, but I'm not using them in terms of the email marketing side. I'm actually going to be using MailChimp. If you um, guys heard about that, so Mail M A I L Chimp C H I M P. That's a good um, email marketing. That's pretty much what it is. But you know, email marketing site. But I say HoneyBook because HoneyBook has the automations to where I can literally type in all I want to say to the bride and schedule that email to a specific date so it automatically sends to them so it's not the same um in terms of that but if you look around the the programs and just type in google you know uh email marketing um websites and then it will have a list of you know popular sites that a lot of businesses use but i i would say mailchimp is what i use and you can also use other things like tave i know some people do dub saddle etc but I say HoneyBook and MailChimp are the two sources that I'm looking into when it comes to different automations and stuff like that. But people have been pushing MailChimp a lot. So I'm looking into MailChimp just being my primary source for the emails. And then HoneyBook is just like my business back office in terms of everything that I need to operate the, the operation side of my business. So yeah, that's how that will work. Um, uh, but I would say, however, I would say if you're just starting, just do the Google Sheets version first, and then when you start picking momentum up, then start looking into other email marketing sites that can actually house your emails, and then do all the work for you. And all you have to do is do a few little things, and then boom, you're in the game, right? So I hope that helps um, clarify why I say email lists are king. And again. If you don't want to do this, that's totally fine. But I feel if you if you want to operate your business at a more just more this this lucrative way or just more uh, profit wise, like if you're trying to increase and maximize your profits and your revenue, doing the email list like this is super important. I actually did one last year uh, for my prints. So after the the weddings I shot, I sent a, a discount to all the brides that I shot last year. Um, in terms of the, my online gallery and I told them hey for Christmas you're getting a 10% discount on all your prints So I had a bribe uh, buy some prints just based off of that So I made it a little extra more income just by me emailing past brides that their images are on discount So just imagine that you shot let's say 20 weddings this year or even five weddings this year and your brides bought the prints on Black Friday, you can email them again and say, hey, your prints are 30% off on all your prints. Don't be surprised if they buy more. So don't just think after the wedding is over, that's it. Think about all the other non-wedding um, photo shoots that you can provide for all of your past couples that now is just a continued business. So that's something to think about going forward. If you haven't implemented that, please save all. Okay, so this, these are the action steps. Number one, every wedding couple you book, save their email in some sort of um, Google form sheet or Google Sheets, save their emails, that's number one. Number two, after the wedding, let them know, uh, if you are selling prints, let them know that they will be able to buy prints once they receive their gallery. Number three, after they buy their prints or after they receive their gallery and it's been a couple months, email them back about mini sessions or I would say try to keep it re relatively close. So let's say your your mini sessions are like in three weeks. I would say three or two weeks beforehand will be great because two months is a little bit too far. So, but what I'm trying to say is that if you're having a mini session coming up, if you're having, you know, maternity sessions coming up because you just seen, let's say one of your brides just got pregnant, boom, hit them up. Hey, I seen you just got pregnant. I can be your maternity photographer. Uh, I would love to be that. And just by you hire me for your wedding uh, a couple years ago or last year, you get a discount and that's it. Or however you want to do that, right? So just think about that. I just really want you all to, to know that you're capable to do so much more than just weddings. 
And then at some point, you're going to be having 100 emails, 200 emails, because again, these are all the brides you ever shot with. And who doesn't want more prints? Who doesn't want more canvases? You know, people lifestyle change. So two years or three years after a couple you shot, they might have gotten a raise or started that business making major money. So when you email them again, they're going to be like, oh, that's not a problem. We'll buy five albums, you know, just because. So just keep that in mind um, going forward. And I really hope that this video helped you. And if it did, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you have any questions, you can always hit me up personally through my messenger or on here. And as always, just know that I'm always available for each and every one in the group. Um, I just want to see everybody succeed and make it and really get to that next level. So with that being said, uh, that's pretty much it um, for this video. So I hope that helped. And let's see here. I'm just making sure that I didn't miss anybody commenting. So I hope that video helps. I'm going to let you guys go. This is like one of my shortest videos, I think. Usually I go over 30 minutes, but I'm pretty early this time, which is great. So with that being said, um, that's about it. And I will keep you all posted on next Monday's video. I'm still thinking about what I want to do. So I'll let you guys know. Uh, other than that, have a great day. And I'll see you next Monday. All right, y'all. Peace.